Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we are building a new end scale structure. It is called Smith's Lock and Key. All right, we have a lot to do, so let's get to it. Okay, so here are all the parts that you'll get in the kit. You have strip wood, material for the base, walls, the uh, sign supports, the roof cards, and details, mostly doors and windows. The first thing we're going to do is cut out all four of these shapes and then we'll glue them on top of each other following the numbers that are engraved on them. Okay, so we'll start with number one. Put number two on top of it. Number three on top of that. And finally, number four. So this is what it should look like. So we'll glue from the bottom. So take piece number two, turn it upside down. And we'll take a brush and smooth it out. Make sure that the glue goes all the way to the edge. Okay, now we'll do the same with number three. Turn it upside down. Okay, now we'll take number four, turn it upside down. Now I'm gonna take a file and gently file the sides. Very light. Don't press too hard because this is a paper material. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is spray a gray primer on this. And we're also gonna spray a gray primer on all of these pieces. And I recommend doing spraying both sides of all of these. Okay, I've sprayed a gray primer on all of the pieces, and this is what I used. And again, I did both sides of everything. Now, don't try to cover it all at once. What I did was I sprayed, did a light spraying over the pieces. Then I flipped them over, did a light spraying, then flipped them back over again and did a final spray and then flipped them over again and did a final spray on the back side. So uh, very important not to try to cover it all at once uh, with the gray primer because the paint gets too thick and you'll cover it up all of the uh, little detail. I also wanted to mention that I even put a gray primer on the strip wood that's provided in the kit. Okay, to paint this to look like concrete, I'm going to make it look um, aged and old. And normally I use a color called Cocoon. Now a lot of people have told me that they can't find uh, this color. So simply take desert sand and slate gray 
50-50. Notice I'm brushing down. Not this direction, but this direction. And I'm doing that because it kind of fills in any little gaps in between those layers. I added a little bit more of the tan color and did a light coat over the top. Now notice I didn't color or paint the entire top um, because the structure sits right there. Okay, let's set this to the side and let's take the sheet with the doors and windows. So we're going to use um, two colors on this. White and a bluish green, it's called Thicket. So I'm gonna take a sponge and sponge over this sheet. But the sign that says Smith's Lock and Key, that gets white. So we may want to either cut that section out or put a piece of tape over it. Um, so that we don't get our thicket color on it. And I think what I'll do is I'll cut that out quick. Be very careful not to cut any of the other pieces. Okay, so it's just the lettering. And we'll set that to the side. And there was a little piece under it that is the uh, railing for the front. Make sure that that gets painted. So now let's take a sponge in this color and go over all these parts. You'll want to do the back side of these lower pieces that are the railings. So just these right here. You can see I just did the back side of it. Same with this one. Because it's a railing and you'll see both sides. Now let's move on to painting our walls. And the first thing we're going to do is cut these out. Actually, before we start cutting all these out, I should have waited. But um, we're going to do a very light coat of iced coffee now the color can be a, a tan a tannish gray a light brown we're just wanting to paint it to look like wood so that if any of the color um, when we paint it will make it look like it's chipped and we want that wood to show through so i put a little bit of water on my palette And you can see it doesn't have to be solid. Take your time when cutting these out. They are very fragile. You have some very thin pieces that can easily snap off. So take your time. Best to use a very sharp brand new blade. Okay, actually the probably the easiest thing to do for this is to take some tape okay so it's sticky side up now when you put these on there line up the bottom edge gently place it on there you don't have to press it down hard because we want these to lift up pretty easily without breaking the pieces Again, very important that they're all lined up evenly at the bottom. We're going to take tape. And we'll go from the top of this little piece to the top of this little piece. Okay, now we'll take our thicket. Now 
Now I want to do the peak of these two walls that thicket color. So we'll just go straight across. Now obviously you can paint yours however you want in whatever color. Okay, now we'll let this dry good and then in between there we're going to paint that all white in this piece. Now we don't want to forget to paint our trim. That's the same color thicket. Now we'll paint the white areas. So we'll just quick mask off the areas that are painted with the color thicket. Again, no need to press down hard. Okay, now let's take light buttermilk. Any off-white color, even um, a light gray. Again, be very careful when taking these pieces off of the tape so that you don't snap any pieces off. And if your line isn't perfect, you can clean it up with the edge of your blade. Okay, I'm gluing on all of the window frames. So I just simply put some glue on my palette and then take a thin brush and sort of paint that glue on the back side of the window frames. And then I have a clean brush and I just clean up any extra glue. This one is finished, even the bottom window. Okay, I'll finish up all the window frames and even the door frames. Then we have to cut out all of the windows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue all those windows onto one little square of clear acetate. And then after the glue dries, then I'll cut out each uh, rectangle and then we'll glue it in place. Okay, now that all the uh, window frames and door frames are glued in place, from the back side, I'm going in and painting all of the inside of the windows and doors. Okay, all of my doors and windows are glued in place. Now I recommend cutting the acetate larger than the window. That way you can glue it from the back side and when you push it in place, it won't fall through. Okay, now let's start to put our walls together. Okay, we're going to take this wall um, this is the back wall, and you can see it has a slant in that corner. And then we're going to take this wall, it has three windows, and that will go just like that. Okay, next I've glued the front wall on. So everything is nice and square because I used this and also the lines on my mat. Now let's take this wall here. 
and we'll glue this little wall on there and I'll show you there's another one that matches it and we're gonna put that right here I'll show you once I get it glued on there you can see I glued that other one right there It's really, it's not necessary, but it helps with the tiny roof card that fits on there. It adds support to this side. Now we're going to glue this one in place right there. So notice we left room for that white piece. Okay, let me glue that quick. Okay, next we're going to glue this sidewall on. This one's, you just have to be careful with it. I'll show you what it looks like. So it gets glued right to the edge of the front wall. But you'll see the back wall, there's an overhang. But you want to put it right to the top before it slants down now if you work kind of quick what you can do is take this wall and we'll put glue on the different surfaces I'll show you Now we'll put glue on the back side of this wall. And on this front right here. This is starting to dry already, so we'll just add a little bit of glue to it. Important to make sure that back corner is lined up. Okay, now we'll just glue this one. Again, make sure that it's the right side up. Check your clapboard siding and make sure that it's not upside down. And that's going to get glued right on the front. And then that sits on there just like that. Let me zoom in on that. Okay, let's go ahead and glue this onto the base. Okay, next, let's cut out our little railings that go around this front deck. And they are down here and a little piece over here. And this one. This one gets glued on first. I'll show you. Okay, so glue this one in place first. And then when you glue this one on it, Put it right up against it. So just make sure you put that one on first. I guess we'll go ahead and complete this side. Now we'll glue this one in place. Okay, let's cut out all of the roof cards. The biggest one that has the engraved line down the center. I'm going to score that just a little bit more. Okay, that goes on there like that. Then we have a little one. That one goes right there. Then we have this one. And you'll notice there's a little notch in the back. I'll show you that fits right in that corner. I don't know if it'll stay there without glue. 
kind of, yeah, okay. Okay, then we have two that are exactly the same. One of those goes there. And the other one goes in the front. Now the front one, we're going to build that right now. We're going to cut out this rectangle. And the last two pieces in this sheet are these little triangles. We're going to cut those out. Okay, I sponged on some of the thicket color on one side. And the other side is completely the gray primer. We want the gray primer facing up. Then we're going to take these triangles and glue them on the ends. I'll glue them and then show it to you. We're gluing these on top of the rectangle. Hopefully you can see that. And then this roof card gets glued on top of that. But we want to do it, it's going to be easiest because there's an overhang on both sides. So we're going to want to lay this down flat and put our glue on the triangle pieces. So we have our roof card and then we have this piece so it'll get flipped upside down just like that In that, hopefully I'm on camera, that gets glued to the front right there. So I've painted the underside just along the edge, the uh, thicket color and the edge, uh, you know, right on the edge um, of all the roof cards and I have been putting the tar paper on. Um, it's black construction paper that is provided in the kit. Um, I cut mine a quarter of an inch thick. That might be kind of thick. You could go a little thinner if you wanted to. And on those sides, I'm going to do it on the front. I take a file and file that front wall a little bit so it's at an angle so it's at the same angle as the side wall you could do a little bit on the top too if you wanted to it doesn't take much we need to do some weathering I'll do some dry brushing just a light gray over that black tar paper we are almost done there is a sign that goes right up here. This is the support and these are the letters. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint this white. Oh, and we do have our roof that goes on the front. I put the black tar paper on it, so now I'll just glue it in place. And I think for this, I'll actually use super glue. There is a back door, and there's a set of stairs that get put on there. So you just stack these pieces on top of each other to make the staircase. Okay, I just did some dry brushing on the rooftop. I first started with 
neutral gray. Then I went over it with slate gray. And with the slate gray, I went more towards just the edges. And I went across the peak. Um, I glued the back stairs on. Uh, now I will get to that sign. But let's do some weathering. We'll do a little bit of weathering on this. Now we'll take black. Again, very little. I may even grab a smaller brush. And I guess we'll do along the uh, foundation. Okay, just added a little bit more dirt here and there, like in corners. Okay, on our sign supports, right now it's just a uh, gray primer on both sides. I am taking bittersweet chocolate, any dark brown. We're just going to add a little bit of rust to it. Just a little bit here and there. You can go heavier towards the top if you want to. And we'll do both sides. Then we'll paint our letters white. And we'll use light buttermilk. Okay, now we'll cut out the parts for the assigned support. Now there's three triangle pieces. And they get glued on the back of this and make sure that the point is level with the top okay the support is glued together and I wanted to point out that there's long pieces and you see where those get glued I'll have a full diagram in the instructions um, showing you how that goes together. But it's really easy. Just make sure those long pieces are glued to the front. Okay, now we'll carefully cut out our letters. Take your time. The letters are thin, so they're kind of fragile. Uh, I'll zoom in so that you can see. Okay, don't get in a hurry. There's little tabs on there. Okay, we're going to put some glue on our palette. Then take a small brush. Let's carefully put this... We'll start at the bottom with the word key. I just set it, I held it up there just so I sort of knew where the glue, where to put the glue. Hopefully you can see that. I put it on the two bottom rows. I'm going to take a clean brush and clean up some of the extra glue.
Now we'll simply glue that to the roof. I'm going to use some super glue. Okay, I painted the detail parts and glued them on. So there is a smokestack that goes on the roof. Then you have a vent that goes on the side of the building. And then a barrel. Now we've got some signs. So I cut the signs out and then I quick went over the edge of the signs with a dark brown marker. Um, you could use a gray marker if you wanted to look more like metal. Um, I wanted mine to look like rusted metal. So and now we'll get all these glued on. Um, I'll glue them on and then I'll show you where they're at. I hope you enjoyed today's build. Now, if you are a Patreon member, you receive a discount on this kit. And the discount code can be found on my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Jason Jensen Trains. And I'll put it right here on the screen for you. All right, well, like always, a huge thank you to all of my patreon members you guys are incredible uh, i just appreciate you so much all right well thank you all so much for watching and until next time stay motivated and happy modeling everyone <laughs>